I'm Luke Summerhays, and I love Sand Isle. One of the primary gods of ancient Egypt was Sobek, worshipped in the region of Fayum at first, and later promoted to one of the principal gods, in part to help establish the pharaoh's legitimacy in that region. Like many historic rulers, part of their power came from the belief in a divine right to rule. In the case of Egyptian monarchs, this came from a relationship to the god Osiris, so Sobek's relation to this god was played up. While many Egyptian gods can be described in recognisable terms like the Sun God or the God of Death, Sobek, perhaps owing to its older origins, has a more primeval association with basic urges to feed and to mate. This immense appetite is displayed through his appearance. He has the head of an animal that could eat almost anything and was extremely populous in the Nile River. A crocodile. Today, the Arab Republic of Egypt is primarily covered by the Sahara Desert, and this is the image of the country in the imagination of the West and Japan. The majority of Egypt's population live along the Nile Delta, the only area where life can flourish. Millennia ago, when ancient Egypt was at its peak, the climate was actually very different, and much more of this land was green and livable. Perhaps this juxtaposition between the arid, desert image of Egypt which many of us have, and the vibrant freshwater land which was once there, explains the way aquatic animals of the Nile are reimagined as ground-type desert Pokémon. In the fourth generation we had Hippopotas and Hippodon, while here in the fifth generation we have Sandile. Sandile is a small orange crocodile with dark patches around its eyes, Pokemon White says, It moves along below the sand surface, except for its nose and eyes. A dark membrane shields its eyes from the sun. Like many other Pokemon and video game monsters, Sandile fits the archetype of swimming through the sand as though it were water. There are few real world animals that do this, and certainly not on the scale of sharks and crocodiles that swim through water but it has fascinated fantasy and sci-fi creature creators all over the world, perhaps since Dune. The English name is a simple mix of sand and crocodile, while the Japanese name, Megoroko, combines crocodile with the Japanese for glasses, Megoro, perhaps owing to the goggle-like design around its eyes. As crocs go, Sandile is barely a nipper, and at level 29, it can evolve into Crocorock. A ground and dark type, Crocorock stands up on its hind legs like a kaiju and folds its arms delinquently. In this bipedal form, it better resembles the god Sobek. The Pokedex entries, however, continue to mostly talk about the eyes, just like with Sandile. Pokemon Black tells us, They live in groups of few individuals. Protective membranes shield their eyes from sandstorms. And Pokemon White says, The special membrane covering its eyes can sense the heat of objects, so it can see its surroundings even in darkness. And Black 2 and White 2 say, Protected by thin membranes, their eyes can even see in the dead of night. They live in groups of a few individuals. The English name Crocorock, of course, still comes from crocodile, perhaps with the addition of the word rock, though this is a ground type and not a rock type. The next evolution may make this name make more sense. The dark type is reflected in the Japanese name Waruvail, which incorporates Warui for evil, as in Wario and Waluigi's names. Crocorock might not seem especially villainous yet, but at level 40, it can evolve into Crocodile. Crocodile is bigger and buffer than Crocorock, with a darker red colour scheme. Its goggle-like eyes are twisted into a villainous cowl like a cartoon criminal, though they still function like glasses. As Pokemon White explains, It can expand the focus of its eyes, 
enabling it to see objects in the far distance as if it were using binoculars. While Crocorock started us on the path towards the Pokémon looking like Sobek, it is in Crocodile that it takes on the god's personality. Sobek was known for a ravenous appetite, and in one important incident, ate a part of the murdered body of Osiris, so unable was it to resist eating any meat it saw. Black 2 and White 2 tell us, Very violent Pokémon, they try to clamp down on anything that moves in front of their eyes. Well, Pokemon Sword says, This Pokemon is known as the Bully of the Sands. Crocodile's mighty jaws can bite through heavy plates of iron with almost no effort at all. A Pokemon Shield says, While terribly aggressive, Crocodile also has the patience to stay hidden under sand for days, lying in wait for prey. Of course, while real world crocodiles are very dangerous, they are certainly not villains just animals trying to survive. At least one Pokedex entry does refer to real crocodile behavior. Pokemon Moon says, After clamping down with its powerful jaws, it twists its body around to rip its prey in half. Crocodile does somewhat live up to the crocodile's reputation as a deadly predator, having a decent competitive career with the likes of Intimidate and Earthquake, at least in games where you couldn't use the much more powerful Landorus. Welcome back to Moyles on Mon, Sandile. Um, cool crocodile lad who becomes an old-timey mob boss. But not like Honchcrow, <laughs> but still a very old-timey mob boss. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of time for Sandile. Um, like, I like the... He's kind of got like a goofy design at first. Um, just a funny little guy, I'm a fan. He kind of got that awkward middle stage evolution. But he kind of looks like a, you know, like a, a grunt in like a mob movie. Um, right. You know, um, in The Simpsons, Fat Tony had like his couple of goons. It was like one of his it's Fat Tony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then here comes Fat Tony, <laughs> Crocodile. Um, I like like, it almost has like sunglasses, with his yeah. um, eye design. Um, well, I think I think they're meant to be like goggles for the sand, but yeah, they're like sunglasses like. Yeah. And um, it, it definitely feels like a gangster of some sort. Um, mm. I think it's because um, it, this was one of the mon that recurred and that was constantly used by Team Plasma in this game, I think. Um, mm. So it kind of fit that bill. Um, but yeah, cool, cool crocodile lad. The English name crocodile includes crook, another word for criminal. Meanwhile, the Japanese name Raru Vayal continues from the previous evolution. Looking like modern day dinosaurs, I've always thought crocodiles were very cool. Add in an ancient Egyptology connection, and you have a recipe for a great Pokemon. Music for Luke Loves Pokemon is composed by Jonathan Cromie. Artwork for the show is by Katie Groves. Writing, producing, and editing is by me, Luke Summerhays. Funding is provided by my lovely listeners. If you'd like to join them, to help keep the show online and find other podcasts by me and my pals, head over to patreon.com slash podcastiopodcastius. Coming up are Darumaka and Maractus. So if you have thoughts about those or any other monsters, hit me up with a DM at LukeLovesPKMN or an email to LukeLovesPKMN at gmail.com. And of course, I'd love it if you could leave a five-star rating and review on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen. Even if you don't feel like doing any of that, thank you so much just for listening. I love Sandile, and remember, I love you too.